Hey guys, I'm back with another video today of my May setup in my Trifold Janelli Fish Traveler's Notebook. And I'm really sorry if you can hear my kids roughhousing in the living room, but daylight's going away and I really wanted to get this filmed today. But not much has changed since my April setup video and since I did the actual updated setup of April in this notebook. I mean, my first insert is still the Midori month on two page calendar and I'm still using this very much the same way for tracking bills and important dates. Uh, next up is a Midori zipper pocket, which in this I have a photo of me and my grandfather. Uh, some journaling cards that came with an Annika Hanby order, some stickers from the Reset Girl, Libby and Co. and Scribble Prince Co. are in here. And this is an Annika Hanby six pocket folder. And in this, I keep more stickers, my ink reference sheet for my stamps, a few more Reset Girl stickers, monster stickers, and star stickers. And then back behind here in the other pocket, I have a list of songs I would like to download. In the back half of this first zipper pocket, I have a photo of my son and some Target list pad paper. Then a photo of my daughter and more list pad paper. I really like this paper for jotting quick notes down that may or may not need to be permanent. Um, I have a dashboard that I made out of glitter wrapping paper from Paper Source. I wouldn't recommend this paper for doing this because it doesn't, the lamination doesn't stick down to the sparkly side at all. So, I mean, it's still really flexible though and nice and thin, which is awesome for the purpose I'm using it for. Uh, I have some sticky notes from the Target Dollar Spot stuck on here. Also for jotting quick notes down. Um, next up is my week on two pages with a fold out month, which again is really just duplicate info from up here in the Midori one. Uh, my new address is taped to the back of this because we are moving next week. Um, this is the homemade craft month on or week on two page that happens to have a tracker similar to the DIY fish one, which I like for checking off to keep track of my account accountability with cleaning and such. Because if I'm not seeing it staring me in the face that I did or did not do something this week, it probably won't get done because I will forget about it. Um, this is blank grid paper that is just a free download from one of those free online paper, printable paper sites. Um, I have May and June in here. Those stickers are from Scribble Prince Co. The back cover of the this insert and what I did here was I used packing tape over scrapbook paper just to build up the durability of this without having to use cardstock. And then the back half of that dashboard, which I moved my pen loop to. It used to be on this piece, but it is now on here. And then this is just the Pilot High Tech C. I can't pronounce it, but it's spelled M-A-I-C-A -A pen in the 04. It's nice, a very, very nice fine line, which was right here. If you want to see how fine that is, I really like it. It's very nice. I love the Japanese pens. They're just my favorite, even for fountain pens. Um, in this zipper pocket, just the half with the slide-in pockets, I just have a couple of laminated animal sticky notes just because they're cute. There's nothing in the back side. And then another dashboard I made with that same glitter wrapping paper. And then this is what's new this month is I have a bullet journal in here now because since I'm getting ready to move, I was really, really overwhelmed with all the things I have to get done in the next week and a half. So I started bullet journaling a few days ago and I have it magnet clip that's from Kiki K and it's just really cute because it's a fox and there's a blue one up on the Midori month on two pages. But you know, just my index, how I've been doing things and I've been writing down quotes that um, Cassandra posts in the Traveler's Notebook Forum, which is an awesome Facebook group you should join. Um, I've been using a few diary stickers here and there, and I'm starting to use more color in my bullet journal. This is from Scribble Prince Co. This is from a 
page flag set that I have and I'm just getting more into this as time goes on. I have an order tracker. I have the Janelli Fish Quest May of 2015 prompt list. This is from the Jonelli Fish Facebook group, which also you should join because there's a lot of notebook eye candy in there as well as a great group of people. But um, basically the premise of this challenge is like you pick you set up your own quest log, which is like your list of monthly goals, and then you slowly break it down into other steps. It's just a fun little mix of a photo challenge and a productivity challenge, too. So I'm pretty excited about that. And like, here's my master quest log for the month, which some of these might actually get pushed back a little bit because of the timing of the move. But I guess we'll see what happens. And then today's bullet journal list, and then it's just a bunch of blank pages that I numbered myself. This is a May Designs notebook that I cut down to fit in here. These cut down beautifully if you know what you're doing and I really very much like these. The paper quality is decent too. Like this ink right here is Noodler's Apache Sunset in a 1.5 mil, I think millimeter stub nib from Twisby. So I mean it's already a wetter ink and this isn't paper that's meant for fountain pens and like, you know, it, it bled, of course, I expected it to, but it didn't bleed anywhere near as bad as I thought it would. Um, after that, I have another zip pocket, which in here I keep my stencil to obsessively make my boxes for my bullet journal because hand drawing them, they're not perfect and it drives me a little crazy. So I have that little stencil. It also acts as a mini ruler. I have some page flags from the Target office section. I have my bullet journal key and color code, and there's some stickers that I made with the exception of these dollar ones. I did not personally make these, I bought these. I technically didn't personally make these hoard stickers. Either. And my last insert here, which again is contained in another dashboard that I made using that sparkle wrapping paper from Paper Source, happens to be my mm -hmm. listers got a list challenge book. Sorry for the photo bomb of a baby hand. Um, but it's my Lister's Got a List insert, and this stamp is a Heidi Swap stamp. This stamp is from Paper Source. And here's the prompt list. You guys should check out this hashtag on Instagram. There is also a Facebook group dedicated to the Reset Girls Lister's Got a List challenge, and it's just really fun. It's a nice way to basically break me out of my box here and try and decorate and do pretty things and I'm really enjoying it. I tried to do April's and I didn't really succeed at it because I, I've been taking care of both of mine and my husband's children by myself for a few months now because he's been at his new job in another city 1800 miles away. So... We're finally moving there again this week, like as I've mentioned several times already during this video. But anyway, I'm pretty excited about it and I'm looking forward to actually completing <clears throat> this month's Lister's Got a List challenge. So thanks for watching. I hope you stick around and subscribe. And if you do, thank you very much.